Early in the coronavirus pandemic, air travel looked like a risky endeavor. Some scientists even worried that airplanes could be sites of super-spreading events. For example, in March a Vietnamese businesswoman with a sore throat and a cough boarded a flight in London. Ten hours later, she landed in Han, Vietnam. She infected 15 people on the flight, including more than half of the passengers sitting with her in business class. Then in April, airlines shifted course. Many started requiring passengers to wear masks on planes and some airlines even enforced the policy. Just on Monday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said it now strongly recommends all passengers and crew members wear masks. Scientists are just beginning to answer that question. And their findings offer a glimmer of hope as well as fresh ideas about what's most important for protecting yourself on a plane. The new evidence comes largely from Hong Kong, where health officials have been meticulously testing and tracking all passengers who land in the city. They test everybody by PCR on arrival, quarantine them in single rooms for 14 days and then test the passengers again, says infectious disease Dr. David O. Friedman at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. So health officials there know which passengers boarded the plane while already infected with the virus and whether they could have infected anyone else on the plane. Friedman and his colleague have been analyzing these data, with a specific focus on one airline, Emirates. Since April, Emirates has had a very rigid masking policy, Friedman says. Not only does the airline require passengers and crew members to wear masks, but flight attendants also make sure everyone keeps on their masks, as much as possible, throughout the entire flight. Friedman looked at all Emirates flights from Dubai to Hong Kong between June 16 and July 5. What he found is quite telling. During those three weeks, Emirates had five flights with seven or more infected passengers on each flight, for a total of 58 coronavirus positive passengers flying on eight hour trips. And yet, nobody else on the planes, none of the other 1,500 to 2,000 passengers picked up the virus, Friedman and his colleague report in the Journal of Travel Medicine. Those were flights with higher risk, and yet there was no transmission, Friedman says. On another Emirates flight, a whopping 27 coronavirus-positive people boarded the plane in Dubai. Guess how many other passengers were infected on the 8-hour flight? There appear to have been two in-flight transmissions, Friedman says. Without the masks, he would have expected many more cases. Friedman and his colleague found several other high-risk flights with no transmission, including an executive jet that flew from Tokyo to Tel Aviv, Israel, with two of the 11 passengers infected with the coronavirus. They were all sitting in a very small environment because it was an executive jet, Friedman says. And yet again, there was no transmission because passengers were meticulously masked. The crew supervised the masking. In fact, since airlines have started to require masks, Friedman says, scientists have not documented one super-spreading event on airlines. Flights that had significant transmission documented were flights early on in the pandemic. Altogether, these data suggest masks are working and working well. There's encouraging evidence from a number of flights that masking does help greatly, but it would be nice to study it better, he says. The circumstantial evidence is, your risk is low on a plane, if there is rigid masking. And that last part is key. To keep the risk low on planes, everyone needs to keep their mask on while riding the plane. Why? Planes have excellent air ventilation and filtration systems, which remove coronavirus particles from the air about every six minutes, the U.S. Transportation Command reported Thursday. So the only opportunity to breathe the virus in comes from the air that passes by you before it goes through that ventilation system, says engineer Lindsay Moore of Virginia Tech. And so that's only going to happen if you're sitting close to the person who's sick. In other words, because of a plane's filtration systems, your risk of catching the coronavirus on a flight comes almost entirely from the people sitting around you. And that risk is lower when those fellow passengers wear masks. The mask will block some of the virus particles a person releases into the air around them. It will also reduce how much virus you breathe in. And it will prevent big drops of spit and saliva from hitting your nose and mouth, Mars says.